they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Psych Pro here and we're back with some more Skyrim and in today's video we are going to be going over another Daedric artifact and uh yeah so I have finished the power leveling guides so I want to finish the Daedric artifact guides and I just feel like I started it I'll finish it some of you have been wanting to know a couple of them like the ebony blade and the uh, let me see where was it the spellbreaker I've had actually a couple people message me about that and asking about those so I will get into those and we're going to see the ebony blade in this one now this uh, Daedric Artifact is actually really simple. There's absolutely no fighting. You actually don't even leave Whiterun whatsoever. Uh, you do go to Dragon's Reach, which is in Whiterun, but you do not leave the hold. Um, super simple. So let's actually get into it and see what we need. So right as you get to Whiterun, what you're going to do is you're going to run down straight, follow the path, and go to the Bannered Mare, which is the house right in front of us right now. Oops, bumped into that guy. Alright, and then you're going to go in to the Bannered Mare, and you're going to talk to Holda, and you're going to actually talk to her about some rumors, things like that. She heard any rumors, and we're going to get the one, oh, hi, Nazim, and we're going to get actually the one that we'll be talking about, the child, the Jarl's child. <clears throat> also, you do have to be level 20 before this quest will come, will spawn in, will become available 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 <clears throat> and also yeah so let's talk to Holda and see what rumors she's actually heard alright so you might not get it right off the bat if you are a higher level and haven't actually done any of the quests for the innkeepers alright see there's the Zura star which we will be going over as well and then you're gonna keep talking to her you know that's not neat and it will say have you heard any rumors? It will always say heard any rumors lately when you have the possibility of getting this quest and blah blah blah. She'll tell you go talk to the Jarl, he's having kid problems, uh, yada yada yada. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to cut straight right and we're gonna go head over to Dragon's Reach. And like I said you do have to be level 20 and you're going to have to, what is this? Oh that's that's something else okay yeah you're gonna need to be at level 20 before this um, hold on I'm gonna actually equip the quest make sure um, <clears throat> you have to be 20 before the quest becomes available um, you can ask her and she'll tell you where to go and then so once we get to Dragon's Reach we're gonna come in here we're gonna talk to Yarl and see exactly what he has to say about his child and what problems he's having um, not too, you know, not difficult. This one's super easy. Like I said, the only thing is it's just a lot of talking, a lot of listening. The R will either be in his throne, sitting at one of the tables, or asleep in his room. We're going to talk to him about the troubles. If you want to hear any of the dialogue and listen to it, it will be in the description down, or not in the description. It will actually, you'll just have to play your game and listen to the dialogue because I'm just trying to get you guys to know what we're doing. Alright, so the Whispering Door is a quest that you'll need to get. Once you equip that quest and you've talked to Yarl, he'll ask you to go talk to his kid. And if you could help him figure out why his kid is acting weird, that'd be great. So the kid could be anywhere in Dragon's Reach. He's all over the place. Uh, he decided to be up here this time. So we're going to talk to him. And he's basically going to roast on his dad and be like, Hey, I... I don't like anything because, you know, I i don't have the same mother as my brothers and sisters. And then he's going to be like, a door is, I've been talking to a door, blah, 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 and that's what's going on. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and run down these stairs. You go to this door right here, and you're going to open it, and then what we're going to do is, you know, open the old wooden door and listen to the whispering lady so I'm gonna come back once she's done talking alright now that the door is done talking to you you're gonna come back upstairs and go talk to the kid once more see he is still upstairs so we're gonna run back up there and talk to him and basically all he's gonna say is you're going to need to get a key from either the Jarl or the court 
wizard, you know, that guy down there that you first talked to. Um, and basically, yeah, you're going to have to go get the key from him. So we're just going to skip through that. We don't need to hear. Boom, jump down. We're going to come over here because there's nobody in here with this guy. What I would advise doing is pausing the game, saving or quick saving. I'm going to save it real quick. You're going to pickpocket this guy and try and get the whispering door key. We got it. Now, if your pickpocket is not high enough, uh, like I said, just save, revert saves if it doesn't work, and keep trying. Also, I'll have a pickpocketing leveling guide down below if you guys want to do that and level your pickpocket. Now, there are two ways you can actually get in the door. You can either get through talking to it, or you can glitch through the wall right here, and I'll show you both methods. This one, you just open the door. Boom, now you can get the ebony blade. But if you don't want to go through all that, you don't care about the quest, you just want to get your weapon, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your miscellaneous. Oh, I don't have my platter. I dropped my platter somewhere. You're going to need to go get a platter. So what we'll do is we'll just run back up here and grab a platter real quick. Is there one in here? Eh, I don't think so. Maybe. I might have missed it. We're just going to grab a platter, and we're going to go back downstairs. I don't know where my platter went. I had a platter. That was down. <laughs> it was in my inventory. But nonetheless, you're going to need a platter. Uh, if you're going to do this glitch completely, I would advise getting two platters because you're going to need to be able to get in and out. Now, if you want in, I'm just going to place it up here. And you're going to jump up here until you get to a spot where you get stuck. Now, I've had troubles with this today for some reason, not being able to get up here. Uh, been able, there we go. All right. And you get to this little point right here. If I can, oh, okay. Well, I thought I had it. <laughs> All right, you gotta. No, nope, I need to get stuck. So you need to get stuck like that. Now you can't move out of here. You're gonna grab your platter, pull it over to you, walk forward, and there you go. Now you can get the ebony blade as well. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's how you get the ebony blade. Super simple. Like I said, you do not kill anybody whatsoever. You just, you know, you either do you do the quest, talk to him or glitch through the wall. Either way, this is how you can get the ebony blade. So technically, this is a way you can get the ebony blade at level 1 if you wanted to. Right as you get to white run, just glitch through and get a super powerful weapon. I'll probably be using this weapon quite a bit. I do actually have a mod installed with a really good one-handed, but I really do like the ebony blade. Uh, but yeah, so this super easy, super easy way to get the ebony blade. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you, you know, learn something now you can get your ebony blade and i will be doing more of these in the future on the daedric artifacts i want to get them all done but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you do enjoy the video and yeah just thank you guys so much this is site pro and i'll see you guys next time peace